In this video, we will see how we can set up the code blocks IDE in order to run C and C++ programs in Windows computer. So here, what we do is first we will install the latest version of C, C++ toolset, which will come with the compilers and other programs. Then we will install the code blocks IDE and we will set it up and we will run C or C++ program. So we will begin with the C, C++ compiler installation. What we have to do is we have to open up any browser that is installed in our computer. I have uh, Microsoft Edge and once the browser is opened, we have to open up the website called as winlips.com. And once we open that, we can see that here we can get the standalone build for uh, uh, GCC, which is the GNU compiler collection, which will provide the C, C++ uh, compilers and other programs. So here we will uh, scroll down and we will go to this download section and here we will download the latest version. So depending on when you're watching this video and what type of operating system that you have, you have to choose the latest version and also the uh, operating system for which you are downloading. You know, whether you have 32 bit or 64 bit, depending on that, you have to select uh, the proper version. Here I have a 64 bit operating system. So I'm going to go with the uh, 64 bit for this latest version and I will click on this zip archive. So once I click on that, the download process will begin and uh, we just have to wait for this download to complete. So here what we've done is we have downloaded the latest version, POSIX thread and UCRT runtime. And uh, once the download is complete, I will uh, click on this folder icon, which will open up the folder where the downloaded file has been saved. And uh, here, what we do is we will right click on this file and we will click on this extract all and here now we have to select the location where we want to extract the contents of this zip file. So here I will click on this browse and I will select the C drive. You guys can select any other location but you just have to remember the location. So here I'm going to extract it to my C drive and then I will click on select folder and I will click on extract. Now this will begin the process of extracting the files. Again, we have to wait for this process to finish. Here the extraction process will take more time. So you just have to patiently wait for it to finish. Okay, now once the extraction process is complete here in this folder, which has been opened automatically here, I can find the folder called as mingw64. We have to open up that. And here we can find bin and other folders. If I open up the bin folder, then we can see a lot of programs in here. For example, we can find GCC, G++, GDB and other programs. So what we have to do is we have to add the location of this bin folder to the path environment variable so that these programs which are present in this folder are accessible from any folder in this file system. So in order to copy this path, what we do is we will go to this top navigation section and we will left click. Once we do that, it will highlight the path. We will right click and then we will copy the path. Once the path is copied, we will click on the start button and we will search for edit environment variables for your account. And once I click on that, we will get this environment variables section here user variables and system variables sections are there in this user variables section we will select path and then we will click on edit and now we will click on new and then here we will right click and we will paste the path that we have copied and then we will click outside and then we will click on ok and again we will click on ok so now at this particular moment, we can close the folders and the browser that we have opened. Now, the last thing that we do in this particular video is we will make sure that the C, C++ toolset has been installed properly. In order to do that, we will click on the start menu and we will search for CMD and we will open up the command prompt. And here we will type in GCC space minus minus version. And when I hit the enter key, we should get a message like this. If you get any error, then it means that you have made some mistake. You have to watch this video again and follow the step properly. Similarly, we will type in G++ space 
minus minus version and now also when i hit the enter key we should get a message like this and here with this gcc space minus minus version we are checking the version of the c compiler that is in, that is installed and then with the g++ space minus minus version we are checking the version of the uh, c++ compiler that is installed and then finally we will check the version of the debugger that is installed so for that we have to type in gdb space minus minus version and once i hit the enter key we should get the message like this if you get the messages like this it means everything is proper c c++ toolset has been installed properly in your computer okay once the c c++ compiler is installed we can install the code blocks ide now the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up a browser i have uh, microsoft edge i'm going to open it up and then in the url bar we will enter the website address as codeblocks.org and it will open up this uh, official website and here we can directly click on this download it will take us to the downloads section and here we will click on download the binary release so once i click on that we can see some download options opening up here now we have some uh, options available while uh, downloading the code blocks for windows now in your computer if c and c++ compilers are already installed then you just have to download and install only the code blocks ide you don't need the c c++ compiler along with the code blocks here so now here i will go with code blocks and setup.exe i don't want to download code blocks along with mingw because i have already installed it separately here i will download for windows 64 bit and i will download code blocks version number setup.exe and here you can click on any of the download options i'm going to click on this first one and the download process will start if it doesn't start then you will get a link here if you click on that the download process will uh, start so now i have to wait till this download is complete okay now the download is complete if i click on this folder icon which is next to the downloaded file then it will open up the folder where the downloaded file is saved generally in the downloads folder and here you can find the code blocks 25.03 setup which is the latest version that is available at this particular moment now in order to install this we just have to double click on this file if it asks for the permission then provide the permission it will open up the installation window we will click on next we will click on i agree and then we will click on next and then it will display the location where it will be installed we don't have to change anything we will click on install now it will uh, extract the files and install we just have to wait okay now it says that uh, it is installed do you want to run the code blocks now i will click on yes and then i will click on next here and i will click on finish now it will automatically open up the code blocks ide as you guys can see we have uh, 25.03 which is the latest version and now here what we have to do is we have to scroll down and we have to make sure that GNU GCC compiler is detected. So here you guys can see GNU GCC compiler is detected. Here we will, uh, um, I will select that and I will say set it as default and then I will click on OK. Now it will open up the code blocks IDE. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sample project. So I'm going to click on create new project and here i will select the console application i will click on go and next here i'm going to select c next and here the first thing that i do is i will select the folder so i'm going to click on this icon and it will open up the folder so i'm going to select i'm going to create a folder in my desktop i will say test run you guys can give any name and then i will select the folder now that folder is present here i have to give a title for the project i'm gonna say hello world once i give the project title it will automatically get the project file name and uh, a resulting file name we will click on next and then here uh, you guys can see gnu gcc compiler is selected automatically we don't have to change anything we will click on finish so now the project has been created in the uh, explorer window here we can find the project hello world 
in the sources folder we can find main.c if i double click on that the file will be opened in here and it contains the basic simple c program which says hello world now in order to run this program i can select build and run here or i can go to build and then choose build and run or we can press the f9 key which is a shortcut so once i click on that it will compile this program it will launch this command window and here we can find the output of the program which is hello world so this is how you can uh, set up the code blocks ide in order to run c and c programs in windows computer so if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you have anything to say write that in the comment box for more tutorials subscribe to the channel